What's up guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Travis, I own Red Tie Entertainment. We're in central Pennsylvania, and we are a wedding DJ business. As you can tell by the title of this video, I'm gonna show you how to, you can convert more sales, especially during the COVID time, in your consultations. So we're gonna take a tour of my office. I'm gonna show you what that looks like, and I'm gonna show you how you can convert more leads into bookings with this process if you're not already implementing it. So check it out. All right guys, so, so right behind me is my office. We got the up lights and everything going on in here right now. We'll take a little tour around. Right over here, we just got our printer area and we have our wall of wedding pictures right here. Closet, this is the desk. This is where I do all my consultations at. Get some nice natural sunlight coming in. I have filing cabinet where I keep all my client files. I got a little bit of like DMX lighting stuff. This is also other files of clients that we book. And then I got my DDJ 1000 set up right here with two rocket speakers. And this is where I will be making most of my mixes. But yes, I wanted to show you it with the up lights on. We'll shoot some of this video with the actual lights on. But the main point of this video is to show you my sales process so you can implement a sales process if you don't already have them. You might be asking yourself, what is a sales process? This is gonna be the process that you take your clients through after you have scheduled a consultation. So they've reached out to you, you scheduled a consultation with them and you're going to meet them or you're bringing them to your office to meet. Now me, I don't have an office, I work out of my house. I work out of this office in here, so I'm not bringing all my couples to my house to go over consultations, which right now actually really helps because of COVID, so we have to do everything over the computer. So I'll show you how we can operate Zoom. If you're not using Zoom, highly recommend that because this is gonna be saving you time where you can go over your half hour, 45 minute consultation just from your house and you can cut out the time of travel. So it literally saves you time. But I wanna sit you down, show you my computer and show you my sales process and how this makes it easier for the clients to understand what I have to offer. It makes my process of giving the information to them easier and this has been leading to more bookings. So let's jump into my computer here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we're sitting at my desk, I got my computer right behind me, or behind the camera. This is basically the view that my clients are gonna have. So they're gonna be able to see the room, see the printer, pictures on the wall, sound equipment and stuff right here. So what I'm trying to do is just paint the picture of like, I'm a DJ, these are DJ things. So. Even they can try and imagine themselves in the reception room with the up lighting. I'm trying to put them in that mood, or that energy, create that energy for them. Like this is what their, their reception could look like. You could also have things like awards put on the table or something right behind you so that they can, it's off to the side, it's visual. You're not pointing it out, but they might see it. Stuff like that. So try and create the mood for your clients before you do your Zoom meeting. And I have done a previous video on how to have a con uh, consultation with clients. So I'll tag that up here if you wanna check that out. That talks more about the general flow of a consultation that I like to do. So I'd still be doing that same thing, except for when the normal conversation kind of comes to an end. This is when I would transition into my little sales process. Um, we're gonna jump into my computer now, and I'm gonna show you what I show my clients. All right, so here we go. I got the Zoom loaded up. We'd be in here, they'd be sharing the screen. We'd be talking back and forth. When I'm ready to get in my sales process, there's a little button down here called share screen. You would click on that, and then this has all of the windows of screens that you ha already have open, so I can share with the window I already have open. There's different options here as well, but we wanna share the PowerPoint, so I would click on this PowerPoint and click share. All right, so now my clients 
are seeing the same screen that I'm seeing. <clears throat> so now my clients are seeing the same screen that I'm seeing. And the first thing they're gonna see is their name with my company on there, their wedding location, and their wedding date. And it says Red Tie Entertainment welcomes, this is Kayla and Alex. This is their, right, this is their reception hall, this is their wedding date. So right away, I wanna make my clients feel special. I want this, this process to be a little bit different than anybody else that they met with. So I want them to feel special, feel like they're getting a special treatment. So I wanna right away put their name out there and make this specific to them as a couple. So right, so basically I would just do that. I would just read this. Okay, hey guys, we just wanna welcome you. Um, and then verify their information. Okay, hey, so we are doing your wedding uh, we are having your reception in the Imperial Ballroom on 319 2022. I would just refer, I would just read that. They'd say, yeah, yeah. And then I would go to the next slide. We'd go down here. Now I'm just letting them know what's happening, what we're what we'll be going over. So this just lays it all out. All right, what we're gonna go over, we're gonna go background about my company, about me personally. We're gonna let them know how we stay organized before and during their event. We're gonna go over our wedding packages and pricing, and also I'm gonna show them visuals of what the package looks like if they were to pick it. So, now they have an idea of what we're going, what's going on. We're making this specific to them. They're gonna understand we are organized, we're gonna be reliable, um, and we're gonna be something different. They're gonna get a special treatment, uh, we're, and we're gonna go above and beyond than what the competition has to offer. So I'll let them know that. Go into my background. And this is just, I, I have these little cue points so that they could read this. So I already know all the cue, I already know about myself, I know about the business. So I'm just gonna be hitting on these cue points. And these are just bullet points. I'm gonna go into more detail because I know all of it in my head. So I'll go into more detail while they're reading these. Let them know how long I've been a DJ, let them know I have experience, um, how long I've been in the wedding industry, why I got into it, about my company, how long we've been in business as a company, what our goals are as a company, I would let them know that as well. Um, and then just, if I was doing this in person, I would have an iPad. I would let them have my computer, I'd be looking at it on my iPad this way, we can be going through this together at the table. I usually would do it at a coffee shop, so they can have my computer. I'll be going through here so I know what screen they're on and just going through it and allowing them to have the up close and personal interaction with the computer. So I'm letting them know what we're going over, let them know about myself, background, so how we stay organized, right? So I have two slides about this how we stay organized before and leading up to the wedding, and how we stay organized the day of the wedding. And really how I do this, we have a CRM program that we give them planning sheets, planning forms, and there's a little video here, so this just briefly scrolls down through one of our planning form pages where they get to pick and select formalities and songs that they want to have at their wedding, right? So. Once again, we are staying organized. So I used to do this. Some of you may, may do this. What you'll do is maybe send them a piece of paper, email it to them. They'll have to print it out, write on it, send it back, fax it, send it in the mail. What this is gonna do with the client portal is just make it easier for them. I want my process to be smooth and easy for my clients. I try and put myself in their position at all times and how would I want it to be. So I want it to be easy. So client portal, they can do it on their phone, computer, type it in and then it's saved, they just have to save it and then I can see it on my end. There's no printing out, faxing, any of that. All right, so I go over all that and what's involved in the client portal as well. It's really like a central hub. They can see their invoice, emails, planning forms, um, and my information all in there. So. It really makes it easier. So next, so how we stay organized during the event. This is where we're kind of telling them about our process, right? So you book with us, we give you the client portal. Uh, once you're done filling out the planning sheets in the portal, we'll create an hour by hour timeline. So when it comes to the day of event, we have a timeline of when everything is supposed to happen. 
So that is how we MC the night. We have our timeline, we know when everything's happening. If they don't have a wedding coordinator, we basically are the wedding coordinator. We will be then letting people know when and where they need to go, when they need to be somewhere and where they need to go. If there is no wedding coordinator, some places do have that, some places don't. So this really helps us stay organized and help the guests and make the night run smoothly because that's our main goal. Have it run smoothly and allow everyone to have a good time. So after I'm done explaining like our process leading up to the wedding, now we're gonna talk about their wedding and what, what uh, packages and services we offer. So the first one, we're gonna go over ceremony coverage. I'm gonna let them know what's all included. Let them know it's a discreet setup. Um, do they need one microphone? Do they need more than one microphone? What music we play? Yeah, show a picture of that actually happening. And then we're gonna get into our packages and also pricing would be here. I don't have pricing here right now. So I'd go into our packages. This is our bow tie package and then I have a video that they could see. Of like, hey, this is a wedding with this package being used at it. This is what it looks like in action. This would be a lot better if you had their specific venue as well. So you could even make another slide of like having a video of their venue and then having another slide of like pictures of their specific venue. This is something I am saving pictures and videos of different venues so that eventually I can do that. There's a million venues, so that's just something to keep in mind. So I go over my smallest package. We go to my next package, which we have three reception packages and a ceremony package. Ceremony is extra, and then each package differs in pricing because there's different add-ons. Yeah, so I just go through my three packages. I'd be asking them questions about what their expectations are, what they want for their wedding day with extras. If they just want the basics, I'd recommend that our first package, if they want a little bit extra, and maybe second or third package. And I'm not pushing this process. I let them tell me what they want and then I align their needs with which package I think will best fit them. And then we can always work stuff out. They don't need a certain service. If they don't need a certain amount of hours, uh, we can always change stuff up. So after I go through all my packages, then I go over add-ons, things that they can add on, popular add-ons. Obviously photo booth, we do monogram, up lighting, and dancing on the clouds is something that we're gonna be getting into, so I'm ready to offer that to my clients. Um, I go over that, packages, extras, add-ons, and then my last slide, a little closing, say I do with Red Tie Entertainment. We have all of our awards that we've won over the years, so they know that we're not just some fly-by-night company. We've actually, actually won awards. I can go over reviews, so let them know like they can go to the Knot or the Wedding Wire. <clears throat> let them know that we've won awards and see reviews. So if they don't go with me at this exact moment, that they can go back and do a little research, look up some reviews. Usually couples have already done that before they schedule the consultation, but just another thing to throw out there. So I leave this up as I'm talking to them. And then I would just answer any questions that they had. Always try to put myself in their position and like what would I want if it were my wedding. That's how I try, that's how I try and do things. <laughs> that really works out well. But um, in conclusion to like this whole entire video, I really just wanted to show you my sales process. Um, especially this is gonna be good because of COVID. We're using Zoom, you could still do a sales process and this really, I've gotten great feedback from my clients with doing this. Um, what I used to do was just bring my computer, we'd meet at like a Starbucks, I'd have internet connection and I would just have my website up. 
which I could show them my website, I could share the screen with that, but I would just have my website up. We talk about it, I tell them about my packages, but they couldn't actually get to see it. So having this structured PowerPoint with pictures, and I think videos are way better, but if you have only pictures, not good videos, that's fine as well. Just to give them visuals of like what your package is and what their wedding day could look like. Um, because that's just gonna push them over the edge and really help them visualize it and they'll be more likely to go with you because now they can they know what it's gonna look like and they can imagine, you know, that wedding day party celebration. And this whole process shows them that you're organized, you're gonna take care of them in the whole process. So let's just say they wanted to go with me. They picked a package, they're gonna go with me. Um, my next steps are we don't do any paper contracts everything is digital contracts everything is in my crm program um if you don't have a crm look up crm i used dubsado super simple there's no learning curve for your clients like i said i want everything to be easy and ease of use for my clients so that's super simple <clears throat> i send them a digital contract they digitally sign it once they sign the contract, send me a deposit for just to save their wedding date. I then send them their client portal and they will then begin their planning process with Red Tie Entertainment. And we're gonna take great care of them. And also, I also do this. They're actually right behind the camera. So once they book with me, we got these. These are just little Welcome cards. See if we can read that. These are just little welcome cards uh, that I send out to everybody and I send them also with uh, Starbucks gift cards. This is just a, a nice little treat that I like to give my clients. You don't have to do this. It's just something um, I like to do because I feel if I was them, I would like to receive stuff for free. You know, who doesn't like free stuff? And this way I feel valued, right? I'm not just signing them up, taking their money, and then, you know, not talking to them for, the, for a year or whatever, because a lot of people book you a year in advance. So this way, sign their contract to give the deposit. I send them back a little welcome card. Just let them know I'm still thinking of them. Um, and I just personally think it's a good touch, so. Um, that's gonna do it for this video. Appreciate you guys for checking this out. Let me know down in the comments if you already have a sales process, if it's different than this, if it's the same as this, if this is something that can help you out. Um, Cause that's really my main goal. I say this to all the time. I'm here just to be a part of the community of wedding or mobile DJs. We are the mobile DJ squad. That's usually who most of my viewers are. So please leave those comments down below. I'd love to interact with everybody. And I always get back to people um, who do leave comments. So thanks for checking it out and I'll catch you in the next video.